All right, and we have a beautiful video today, guys. Welcome to Washington State. It's raining fall. Damien, thank you for inviting me to your home. You're welcome. And guys, enjoy the video. We're going to talk more about his collection, what he got going on, this beautiful Alpha Lotus. Uh, randomly, I mean, seriously, guys, and randomly in this, like, uh, what is this called? A six-holder case with Ice Manipulator, Ancestral, Berserk, Ice Storm. I don't know. It was hilarious. It was awesome. What a great story. Damien, I look forward to hearing your story, guys. Enjoy the video. Vintage Magic. Game. Collect. Invest. For more information about our consulting and professional services, visit VintageMagic.com. All right, guys, and we're back. So we are at uh, Damien's house. Damien, thank you for inviting me. And we're looking at a Pokemon randomly. Yeah. So uh, we are here to look at your collection, but I want to hear more about really the story on how did the Alpha Black Lotus, it's a really nice one, by the way. Thank you. How did this come about? Like, you told me your dad bought it for you. Yeah, he asked me uh, what I wanted for Christmas, and he knew I was collecting magic and keeping the cards in good shape, putting everyone in a binder, didn't play much. He said, oh, what's the Superman issue one of this game? I said, that's the, that's the Alpha Black Lotus. If that's like the best, that's the best card, Dad. And back then they were going for 400 bucks. Four, four hundred dollars. Wait, four zero zero. Four zero zero. Nineteen ninety six. I think he got it for three hundred and ninety from a shop in Florida. He negotiated. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> and that was like what year was that? Probably nineteen ninety six. Okay. And I've so been it's, sitting on it and uh, keeping it a secret ever since. To everybody. Everybody. Wow. How'd you pull that off? You just left it? I just zipped my mouth. I just worked for Mox Boarding House and Card Kingdom for uh, a year, and no one there knows I have this. Okay. So you work, okay. I and asked, so, so like, hey, what's the process to get something graded? I have two cards. One of them's an Ancestral Recall that I want graded. And they hummed and hawed, and there's a guy for that, but here we are. Random. Yeah. So uh, very interesting about his collection. He has a lot of the... New stuff, guys. A lot of new stuff uh, over here. Um, and that makes perfect sense. You went to uh, Mox Boarding House, worked there for Car Kingdom, basically. Yep. Got a, uh, got a discount. Most of my paychecks didn't leave the uh, front door. And what did you do there? Uh, I was a host and server because they had the attached uh, Yeah. Restaurant. I think the bar and food is pretty good. Yeah. Pretty awesome concept. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. But so all your discount money, everything, you just bought carts? My entire second job only went to buying magic cards. <laughs> By the way, mom's here, partner's here. I'm not going to film them, but say hi, guys. Hi. All right, there we go. All right. What a cool story. And your dad really is to be... Where is he at, by the way? He's just... Taking he's, a, off, he's off huh? in the woods right now. We're, we're uh, with a big property, so we've got a couple houses. The Ancestral, what's the deal with that? Did they... Um, that I bought uh, someone's collection. Yeah. Uh, he wanted 500 for it. It was about that at the time. And he said he got the rest of the collection for another 100 <laughs> So I got that for, for 600 And along with it came um, some Alpha Commons. Right, which I saw earlier. And um, a nice little stack of dual lands. Unlimited wheel. Um, and so I talk about finance and investing. Why are you selling? Because land. Yeah. You want to um, buy some land on, their, on your property? We have uh, seven and a half acres that a neighbor has had for 30 years. We've been their neighbor. And they've kept it completely pristine. We've kept ours pristine. She just called us up. She's 99 years old, and she just agreed to sell to us. So I'm oh. scrambling to get a down payment together. How much is the land? Just curious, the whole thing. Uh, looking for 300000 No, but their land. The, the, uh, seven the, and a half acres. So that she wants to sell for three hundred. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so you want to just like you already have land, and you want to kind of just have more land. Just not you know, just the more land, but the parcel itself. Yeah. Since it, it's contiguous with my parents' property, I can move that parcel to where I want to build a house. Ah, without yeah. Without doing the got the it full subdivision, which is very expensive. No, I I'm aware of this. Like we just had a neighbor who. Uh, uh, had a little parcel in the front of the entrance, like like a road or something. Mm -hmm. They apparently they sold it to someone and they're building, uh, someone else's building. 
But but I see like when you have land, you can protect it and not deal with more people building. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I got offers for our uh, nine acres extra from what we have, you know, all the time, and I'm just like, bro, I don't want to sell. Yeah. I stop stop stop, stop messaging. Yeah, we have we have old growth trees that are pushing four feet in diameter now. That's awesome. No, and you guys appreciate you're going to live here for. A, Yep. Ever. We camp here all summer. My friends right. come here and camp. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous here, guys. I don't even know how to explain it to you. Like, it, I'll have to do a little, like, when I drive by, just the land. It's it's gorgeous. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate you sharing the story, guys. It's very interesting. Like, you don't see an alpha black lotus, let alone, like, a limited beta, but an alpha black lotus in a really nice condition. Really nice collection, guys. I'll have to do more videos on this, but I just want to share this with you guys. Um, anything else you want to show to people like when you invest in things? Because you've had times where you could have sold this. Oh, yeah. Why didn't you sell years ago? Like, well, What do I do with the money? Right. Spend it. So you, so, and it and, what what and, I'm doing now is buying something else that's real. Right. This pretty real. But it's a one piece of cardboard at, a, at the end of the day. And turning that into land and the down payment on building a house. Right. Where Where is a... Uh, um, it's time. Where uh, where did you store this? By the way, all these years. Secret. No, no, no. Like, was oh. it was it in a bank or did you put it in your house or? Uh, mostly banks. Okay, okay, yeah. that's bank smart. Box. Well, I tell people all the time, like, where do you store cards? Store it in the freaking bank because yeah. bank is like you know better than your house. Get the yeah. nine up page. Put the important ones in there. That's awesome. Light's never gonna touch it. It's con uh, temperature controlled environment. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, thank you again. Uh, we're going to work out a deal. Um, either buy or consign it. We're going to work something out. So, guys, uh, if you have any questions on this, the beautiful Alpha Lac Lotus, you can message me, Daniel at VintageMagic.com, or call me, text me, 206-914-7974. Damien, thank you so much. Thank you. And other awesome people, I can't say who they are. <laughs> Take care. Hey everyone, it's me, Daniel, with VintageMagic.com. I want to share with you more about how we handle consignments. So to begin the consignment process, we actually need to start with the consultation service. In this consultation, I will determine what you're looking to do. And generally, consigners usually tell me, hey, Dan, I'm looking to sell my items and maximize the value of their collection. After we determine through the consultation, I usually like to do an appraisal process. And in the appraisal process, in terms of a consignment, is more fitted towards authenticity and valuation for current market values. From there, after a contract is crafted and signed, we will then receive the items from you. The reason why our consignment process is very thorough is we also identify cards that could be graded so then they can maximize higher dollar values. So the payment process is very simple. Once we have sold your items, you'll get an updated ledger and we will process payment um, for whatever form of payment you need. As a consigner, you're gonna experience our white glove service. What that means is I'm gonna personally handle your collectibles from beginning to end. And rest assured, the client that purchases your collectibles will also receive the same white glove service. It's a signature service that I really pride myself on in working closely with my clients. Vintage Magic. Game. Collect. Invest. For more information about our consulting and professional services, visit VintageMagic.com.